Hey Jason. Hey what? You walk into a bar. Okay. And imagine there's a long line of people waiting to take a swing at you. Alright. That's the punchline. What? What's the punchline? <laughs> huh? There's a long line of people waiting to take a swing at you. Alright. That's so the punchline. Oh, that's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Sorry, what about 60 um, year old ancient uh, permaculture bikinis and ponds and what? Oh, oh okay, okay. So the, 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 chan the channel is called Mother the Mountain Farm. They're in Australia. And it's, it's a couple of girls, a couple of sisters that uh, are that, that living on the, the permaculture farm that their, their grandparents and their parents developed. And just about every single one of the thumbnails for their videos is a picture of one or more of the girls backs to the camera wearing a bathing suit showing off off their behinds and i would skip that because i don't like this the, the behinds are, 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 are fairly average they're not like oh wow it's spectacular and it's pretty pretty frumpy looking ba bikinis or bathing suits that they're wearing and for that reason I ordinarily i would those. not watch the video simply because this looks like a clickbait thumbnail yeah and so on and so forth but it is a 60 year old permaculture forest that they're that they're that they're living and working in and i i, I find the subject material compelling so i still watch their videos mm. otherwise yeah i mean like that that one where the girls got her got her shirt off and her back to the camera on freaking every single thumbnail and you know for dang certain that picture is not going to be appearing in the video at yeah, all. Yeah, you're not getting yeah, a shot. I, I don't even click on those. It might not be good. It might be good. It might be interesting content, but... Maybe, yeah. but you kind of spoiled it with the quick thing. I think my favorite, like my favorite couple bushcrafters is Corporal Corner and then there's this old guy with a beard. I can't think of it. It's, um... Yeah. He... he He's kind of slow. He talks very slow. Oh. He's got a huge beard. He's a oh, little guy. And, and he takes the, his wife out. On the channel. Oh, oh, also. Yeah, then, let me talk over you for a minute. Yeah, and then there's this lady. <laughs> she's got nice long brown hair. Mm -hmm. And huge glasses. And she, I can't think where she's from because she's got an accent. This is like so thick. But she does bushcraft. And you're not going to see her topless because half the time she's in the freaking thunder freezing her butt off. <laughs> you never know. No. Polar bear. <laughs> I think her sexiest part is her hair and her glasses. Because right. I can so, identify so, with that. So, so back to Mother of the Mountain Farm. Oh, right, right. It's like... Oh, check that out. What do you... It, it's, it's pretty much given... In Ground the course of any, any video, chances are, yeah, they are going to be out there at one of the one of the, one of the water features that's on, on the farm taking a dip. So, yeah, it does appear in the video. But it doesn't really need to, I don't think. You know, it's just... It's Australia. It's probably hot part of the year. <laughs> well, it is right now. Yeah, it's summer. Uh, it's can't they summer pull right? over instead of pull over? See, this is why I don't like the way cops pull people over. They, they should, like, take an exit or a turn or something and go somewhere else. Because people literally run each other over, cause wrecks, yeah. just trying to get around a cop. Oh, shoot a cop. Gotta get over. But they won't part, get over somebody else inside the, the road. The point, point I'm getting at is oh, the, yeah. the, the subject material that the, the videos are, are about the setting really is compelling enough that people should want to watch it anyway you don't need to have the, the girls in bikinis to sell it yeah but i guess girls in bikinis helps i wouldn't mind having girls in bikinis on my channel don't uh, get any ideas mary i've seen you in it <laughs> <laughs> there's some people that look better in clothes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i'm one of those clothes are good i, I appreciate clothing If dad bod was a thing. Yeah. I think they have t-shirts that say dad bod. And I'm like, oh, I guess it's better than nothing. Better than no bod. <laughs> that's when you're old. <laughs> if you got no bod, you're a ghost. No, that's when you're old and you're wrinkly. Well, that's still a bod. So an old wrinkly bod. <laughs> no bod would make you a ghost. That's when you see grandpa naked and all of a sudden you pull out the iron. <laughs> You know what's worse than seeing Grandpa naked? Grandma. Seeing Grandma <laughs> naked. Oh. And that sexy nighty. Mm, it's, a, it's a Grandma nighty, right? But maybe back in the day it was hot. Uh, but the V comes down a little too low. You're like, whoa, Grandma, roll those things up and tuck them back in. You have ankle warmers, Grandma. Oh, God. <laughs> Who was it? I want to see Larry the Cable Guy. 
He made a joke that his grandpa had, had uh, tripped and fallen or something. Oh, yeah, well, you know why. You know, goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, you know what, you need to tuck your nuts in yeah. to your socks. Oh! <laughs> Is that really a thing? <laughs> Do they get droopy when you get old? <laughs> what happens when you have to sit to pee and... <laughs> Oh, well, there was somebody, I think it was Jeff Foxworthy or Billy Ball, talked about the first time his nuts touched the water. He about came out of there like, ah! Like, ha ha. Wait, that would suck. <laughs> that's the coldest. Oh, you, you sit down. It, like, Whoa, it's cold. Yeah, that's the coldest water. In it. Ew! Hopefully not yet. Hopefully they've you, you flush, you brown, but you yellow, you let it mellow. Just flush. Oh just flush. People just flush. I never understood why somebody wanted to get a bidet and not want to spend the money for the $300 bidet. Remember when there was a toilet paper shortage? <laughs> somebody said that they found a bidet for $25. I'm like, is it heated? He's like, well, I don't know. You better double check that. This is freaking Nebraska, okay? This guy's telling me we're discussing toilet paper shortages. I think we're at the Walmart. For 25 bucks? No, it's not heated. <laughs> you want the $300 one and you want to plug it in. You want a warm seat. You want warm water. And I told him about the Japanese sink that I got from the back of the toilet. Which is all fine, but the in water's the summer, cold. In the summer, it's nice. It's nice and cool in the summer. But in the winter, you can't use it. Yeah. It comes out ice cold. I'm like, now imagine that hitting your... Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, your nuts. So, yeah, it's a, oh. ni it's, it's a nice idea, but probably <laughs> it would be a good idea to have some way of heating that water. Yeah. They sell them... Uh, this is a Saps Brother truck stop. It has... Bidets. I don't know if they have them in the men's room, but they have them in the women's room, and you're like, yeah, that's nice. Gotta read the instructions first. If you're sitting there for a while. You're gonna, you have time to read the instructions. It's something to read, and you're like, oh, let's give this a try. Oh, let's give that a try. And they sell them. They sell them in the, the Saps Brothers truck stop. Uh -huh. I think they're called a Coco. <laughs> Which is funny. I used to work for a guy named Coco. Like, I bought a $300 Coco. Like, I'm pooping it. Just said to him, there you go, Coco. One for you. Speaking of Coco. Yeah. What? One of the jujube trees that we have coming is a cocoa jujube tree. What are they here yet? No, they're not oh. here yet. Right oh, now, what trees did you get? We got we got six mulberry trees, two elderberries, and then uh, five grapes. five grapevines. Three yeah. three of the the fry, which yeah. are the female ones, and three tara, which is I grant I granted yes, it's a it's a female name, but it's the male uh, the male. I, take your, I, I don't know any tara, so I'll take your word for it. What kind of name that is? Then again, Taro is the name of the farm in Gone with the Wind. I never, I never watched the end of that movie. This God is my witness. I'll never go hungry again. Um, because I missed the class. Yeah, we were watching know. it, and then I missed the class. I missed it. You missed know. The teacher told me how it ended, yeah. and she said, "Well, do you want to watch it?" I'm like, "No." If the O'Hara's had had, if the O'Hara's had had canna lilies planted as as accents on their farm. It would have, it would have made yeah. that seem pointless because she would have just dug up the cannas and eaten the roots and gone yeah. <laughs> well, the the Union one, Army marched through one. here and didn't realize that there was a farm full of food. They just yeah. thought it was they just thought it was decorative. I know, right? Eat one, <laughs> plant one. Eat one, plant one. Oh, I didn't realize how big those were. To like sell the video. Oh. Freaking. And you got them for like a one, dollar one, one, and they were the size of your plant, thumb or something. One plant produces enough food for. Two and a half people. Yeah, but when, yeah. didn't you say you got them for a dollar and they were like the size of your thumb at the Atwoods? You're like, I guess yeah, you were, can eat these. Yeah. You weren't impressed. Yeah, I was like, well, yeah, the flowers are edible, so I got them because they, they produce edible flowers. And it's like, yeah, the roots are edible too. Like, yeah, kind of like daylily roots are edible, but daylily roots are they're, they're, like the end of my pinky is about as big as they ever get. Aww. Each individual one, you still have to peel it and boil it and everything. It's like that seems like an awful lot of work for not much vegetable. But the flowers are really, yeah. really good. They are better than lettuce. And if you put them in, in the, salad, if they're in, if they're in the sunny side, they, yeah. they they can make a lot of flowers. They make a lot of flowers. So, so it's like daylilies and ditches. Oh it, my that's, god! That's that salad greens. Those big orange ones. That salad greens, and you never they're have everywhere. to plant lettuce again. Yeah, they got. They taste. Oh, I forgot to grab those. I found something behind the truck stop. No, ah. not truck stop. I said a, a customer. There was a bag. And I thought, are those purple potatoes? But they had ah. little greens. So I pulled them out. They're turnips. Uh, I grabbed a couple. Do you want them? See if you can what, plant turnips? them. Mm. Mm. Like I don't know what to do with them. I'm like turnips aren't that great. Uh, they're uh, they're you can grow them in the winter. 
Yeah, they were. It's a winter crop. They were laying in the sun in the bag, growing greens. I don't think they originally had greens. Oh, well, they're in my truck. All right. You can eat the greens. All right, you two friend, we're home. There's my monstrosity. <laughs> we need to really, I need to wash that. Jason was like, no, you can't wash that. There's too much salt on it. Mm, I need to wash it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I don't want it washing off into the yard. I'll wash it off in the street. And it's, it's already getting dark out, and I haven't even put it, put the other bag of uh, foam in yet. We'll do that tomorrow. I guess we'll I'll give you the footage of that, too. Yeah, put the foam in there, and then i got to dig out two more post yeah. holes and set those. And I'll watch. And you can watch. <laughs> yeah. Bye, YouTube friends.